Hey girly girls, it's Kat. I am back for another video, a very special video that I have wanted to do for quite some time. So I put on my bright pink lipstick. It is the Tartiest, the one, the new liquid kind of velvety creamy lipsticks. I love these. Okay, this is something that I have not did an unboxing before. I did show it on Snapchat. It is a Chanel bag and you guys know Chanel, Chanel, Chanel is my baby. I love Chanel. This is something that I had gotten from Valentine's Day and it's one that I really, really, really wanted and it was really hard to get because I had waited a little bit when I had saw it at Bergdorf before and I didn't get it there, but I was able to reach out and I was able to find, or somebody found another one for me. So anyways, without further ado, let's do the little unboxing. Here's the box. It didn't come in one of the flip boxes that, that I usually get. So that's kind of a little bit of a bummer, but Anyways, here's the receipt and for people asking before there's somebody who's kind of kind of teasing like the receipts it, um, A lot of people who do handbag reviews show the receipt because a lot of people want to know how much it costs It's not anything at all for bragging. It's really really not and of course I, I guess I, I I go back and forth should I show it should I not show it but people when I've looked I want to see it and that's why we show it. So it's not just me doing that. It is other people who, who do that. It's not everybody, but a lot of them do. So that's why I do it. It's not for anything else. But I guess if she didn't, she has never watched my video, so she didn't know. But anyways, okay. With that, okay. I'll just get to it because I just can't wait to show you guys. Oh my God, I love pink. Whenever Chanel comes out with their pink bags, like their fuchsia, like the, um, the I got the patent leather one, I love them. And I love boy bags now. I used to just kind of like the classic ones, but I'm liking the little edgy kind of feel to the boy bags. This one is, da, 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 da. oh my God, look at that thumbnail picture. <laughs> if you guys, if you make videos, you know what that is. You do like a little picture and you make your thumbnail. Okay, don't embarrass me. Don't embarrass me. Okay, um, I'm going to blush. Um, you can't see the blush. There's self-tanner, right? Anyways, this is the pink Chanel Velvet as a part of the 1516 Fall Winter Collection. And I love this. I didn't think I would like it at first because I'm thinking all this money just for velvet. But the feel on this is so luxurious, you see? I haven't even used this bad boy. It's been sitting in a box because I said I have to do, a, I have to do an unboxing for it before I can actually wear it. Anyways, this is a great size. I didn't think I would like these this size as much. I always thought I'd just love to do the jumbo. But in my um, rainbow bag, in my mermaid bag that I have, I use it a lot. And I don't bring as much stuff with it, but it fits, you know, the iPhone sits just perfectly inside of it. It sits whatever you really need and it doesn't get too heavy weighed down and it's just, it's a, it's a great size for this bag. It looks very proportionate. So anyways, I will take this little top part off here and then you have the beautiful silver hardware on this. They all have, the boy bags all have this kind of pinch clasp, clasp on it. It's kind of hard to do like looking up and I'm not that talented. Oh, hold on a second. There you go. And they come with this, so I store it with that so you don't scratch anything or whatever. This is, of course, made in France. Here is the inside of this. It's got a nice roomy inside like that. You can really fit, not a ton, but you know what? You, you find you really don't need as much as you think you do. Here is the little kind of card of authenticity. Here is the little the uh, fuchsia, here's the information if you want the number off of it, if you want to look for that. Um, you can still get them. Um, they have other pieces. I don't want me to say um all the time. They have other pieces to the velvet line. There has a little pouch that I really want, but it's um, kind of thin, but it's just, I love this velvet. This is so striking. You see how it's a real blue-based pink velvet, my favorite color of pink. And I don't have lipstick on my teeth. I'm always looking for that. Um, a little pocket in here. I don't know if you guys have probably seen the outside of these. Little pocket in there on the inside of it. There's the inside. I can give you a good glimpse of it in there. It's got, this is calfskin uh, on the handle like that. You can adjust the handle like that. You can wear it over your shoulder 
just like so. You can wear it at the crook of your arm. You can make it longer and wear it cross-body. You can, of course, lengthen these like this. You can wear it cross-body like this. You can wear it as a long shoulder strap. The perfect, perfect size. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous bag and one that I'm so happy to add to my collection. Here is the the dust bag. Here is the, I never even open these things up, guys. Here is the book and the instructions and all the stuff if you, there's a really good documentary out there. And I know that Chanel, there is controversy on Chanel. I know, um, you know, uh, uh, controversy. I'll, I'm gonna do a video on that. The controversy with the Nazis and Chanel and who ended up, it was kind of a cool story because two Jews ended up owning her company. And they, so it's a kind of a good story, which is the reason why I still feel comfortable being Jewish and buying Chanel, because I'm kind of like that. I kind of get, you know, I'm the person who like boycotts things if I don't like it and whatever, but I'll tell you the story sometimes. If you don't know, you may know it, but if you don't know it, I'll do a little doctorial on it. And if anybody wants to see a collection, I did a little mini collection of a couple of them on my Snapchat. So follow me on Snapchat and I will follow you back, definitely. Just let me know who you are. Um, in your YouTube channel too, so I can kind of you know mix the person, the face with the YouTube, the YouTube name too. But um, if anybody wants to see a collection, I do only I have a couple of my bags in my Florida place, but most of them are here, and um, I just love it, guys. Really, really love it. It is so luxe the feel of that. This also came in a really beautiful kind of a royal blue, just just gorgeous. So I hope that was a good view of that, guys. Um, really love it. I know I'm very, very, very blessed to have it. I don't take that for granted one day, guys. And this bag doesn't make anybody. I love having it. I'm blessed. I feel pretty and princessy when I wear it, but this doesn't represent happiness. It doesn't, and I know that, and I get that, you know? And um, I, I, for anybody who doesn't have one and you want one really bad, I hope to one day that you'll get one you will get one and if you don't they have a beautiful knockoffs on this not you know a fake chanel but they have ones that i saw at forever 21 that have the same kind of boy bag style the same kind of a chain strap they have many many different kinds in this style i think does michael kors have one too perhaps he does a lot of really good designs that kind of look a little bit chanel like or louis vuitton like or whatever so they have some good ones if you like this style and you don't want to go um at this kind of this kind of price but anyways that is my chanel boy bag let me know how you think of this let me know what is your favorite um chanel bag that you've seen so far out, out there or on social media or what have you until then i will talk to you soon and until then keep living your most glamorous life Bye bye <music>